is TCP ASMR here. In today's video, I will be going over my NFL 2022-23 end of season rankings for the wide receiver position. So, first we have Cooper Cup. Uh, you guys might be wondering, well, how is Cooper Cup here if he only played nine games? Well, in those nine games, Cooper Cup had 75 receptions. 112 yards with six touchdowns all in nine games. Uh, he was averaging 90 yards per game, which is the second highest of his career, only behind last season, of course, when he almost broke the receiving record. Um, he also had a rushing touchdown and 52 yards rushing. So, yeah, Cooper Cup uh, absolutely electric this year before he got injured and to sit out for the rest of the season. Uh, this was also while playing with a very subpar Matthew Stafford. Uh, unfortunately, though, due to the amount of games he played, I have to, or I couldn't put him any higher than 10. Number 9, we have Amon Ra St. Brown. Uh, Amon Ra had a really good year this year, uh, was very good last year as well as a rookie. Uh, but he just leveled up a bit more, and I think he will continue to keep proving. But he's a great route runner, really shifty. Uh, he started 16 games this year and played in 16 games. Had 106 receptions for 1,161 yards with six touchdowns um, and 95 rushing yards. So, yeah, really good season for Amon Ra. A very crucial part to that Detroit Lions offense that was believe ranked at top five uh, last season if not for the whole season they were the best offense for a couple of weeks uh, very explosive offense and uh, it will only get better from here on out at number eight I have Terry McLaurin he played in he started and played in all 17 games this year uh, had 77 receptions 1191 yards five touchdowns uh, and yeah five touchdowns so unfortunately for uh, Terry his quarterback as I'm sure we all know is Buns uh, whether that is Carson Wentz or Taylor Heineke hopefully the commanders get a quarterback because uh, it's pretty sad to see him and Curtis Samuel very talented wide receivers just rot in, uh, in Washington Terry, uh, not the most uh, receptions, but it's kind of just the type of receiver he is, a big play receiver, and he's very good at it. Um, but yeah, hopefully he can get a better quarterback because they don't call him Scary Terry for a reason. He's, uh, he's an absolutely electric player. Next at number eight, we have CD's Nuts Lamb. Uh, had to get the joke in there. He started all 17 games this year, had 107 receptions for 1,359 yards with 9 touchdowns. Um, yeah, CD, very good year, especially uh, considering Dak missed about 4 or 5 games. Played all of every game this year, which is great. Uh, of course, Terry also played every game this year. Um, you know, you're, that's the old saying is availability is the best ability true. Uh, if that weren't true, then a receiver like Michael Thomas would be up here. Um, but anyways, uh, I guess I kind of contradict myself with Cooper Cup, but Cooper Cup is just so good that I couldn't leave him off. Anyways, um, yeah, CD, very good year. I think he came, he definitely came top 10 in receiving yards. I think he's top 5 or top 6. So yeah, number 7, CD Lamb. Number 6, I have Stefan Diggs, uh, who you guys might think this is a bit low for him, but I don't think it is. Uh, Stefan Diggs had 108 receptions in, or 108 receptions, 1,429 yards, and 11 touchdowns in 16 games this year. Uh, he also came top five in receiving yards, was very good this year. I just think he was a little bit disappointing in the playoffs. Uh, but I also think that the players above him, of course,
players uh, played better than him. So let's see who those players are. Number five, the first player is Jalen Waddle. Uh, as you can see him here doing uh, his Penguin Waddle. But yeah, Jalen Waddle had 75 receptions in okay, 17 games. He played all 17 games. He had 75 receptions, 1,356 yards, and eight touchdowns. He had led the league in yards per reception. Uh, and you might be like, well, how are his stats better than Stephon Diggs? Stephon Diggs pretty much has that uh, that team to himself. Uh, obviously, you have Gabe Davis, but Jalen Waddle has to compete with Tyreek Hill and his quarterback who missed a, a few games, obviously. Uh, but yeah, Jalen Waddle has to compete with Tyreek Hill, who I'm sure as you could guess, is later on in this list, but for him to only have 75 receptions and have it still go over 1,300 yards is absurd. Um, and I think Waddle has a really bright future, super explosive receiver, but can also, uh, you know, just do down to down stuff. Uh, but yeah, that, that's the X factor with the receiver is uh, is when you know you pass him a 10 yard slant and they can turn it into a 50 yard play, which Jalen Waddle is more than capable. Of for another player who can turn a 10-yard slant into a 30-yard gain, A.J. Brown. He started all 17, or he didn't start all 17 games, but he played uh, 17 games, started 16, had 88 receptions for 1,496 yards, uh, best year of his career by far. He also had 11 touchdowns and came just behind Waddle, or not just behind, but behind Waddle. Still a very good uh, number with 17 yards per reception. So yeah, another just very explosive, dominant receiver. Uh, he just physically is more dominant than a lot of quarterbacks in the league and wins uh, by doing that, but also has great hands and uh, obviously made the Super Bowl and was a crucial addition uh, to the Eagles to get them there this season. second best route runner in the league arguably the first uh, with Justin Jefferson but he played in 17 games had 100 receiving yard or 100 receptions with 1,516 receiving yards led the league in touchdowns with 14 uh, the only downside to this year and this could also be on Derek Carr is that his catch percentage was a 55% which is the worst the worst of his prime years. Um, he had a worse year in 2015, but that was when he was a sophomore yeah, in, the C in the NFL, so don't really count that, but yeah, the worst of his prime, uh, but still amazing year, 1,500 yards. Is, anytime he eclipsed 1,500 yards, insane, and led the league in touchdowns again. Uh, was also all-pro second team. season for Devontae Adams. Next, as I'm sure you guys were predicting, uh, to either see him at one or two, we have Cheetah or Tyreek Hill. So Tyreek Hill, as I mentioned, we're talking about Jalen Waddle. Uh, insane season for him, too, played in all 17 games, had 119 receptions for 1,710 receiving yards, um, only had seven touchdowns, but can't really fault him too much for that, I think. Um, also had a rushing touchdown. Yeah, Tyreek Hill, similar, somewhat similar to Jalen Waddle, is just an absolutely explosive receiver, another receiver that can turn a 15-yard catch into a you know, 90-yard, 80-yard touchdown. Uh, I forget which game, was it the Ravens? Yeah, the Ravens game where uh, the Dolphins came back. I think it was against the Ravens. Just started lobbing it up to Tyreek and Waddle because they were just wide open. Uh, they were burning the Ravens' secondary. 
Tyree and the Ravens couldn't do anything about it because Tyreek is too fast. Uh, you can't not double him, but it's hard to, to double Tyreek when you also have Jalen Waddle on the other side. Uh, so also extremely fast running around. So number two, Tyreek Hill. And I'm sure uh, after Tyreek was number two, as everyone expected, we have Justin Jefferson at number one. So, Justin Jefferson played in all 17 games this year, had 128 receptions, which led the league, and 1,809 1, yards, which also led the league. Um, only had eight touchdowns, but that's still good. Also had one rushing touchdown. Uh, yeah, Justin Jefferson, do I even really have to say much? Uh, explosive, and again, another receiver. I mean, all, all, every receiver in this list is a receiver that can turn a 10-yard gain or a 10-yard catch into a 30, 40-yard catch. But the thing about Jefferson is that not only is he explosive, uh, he has some of the best hands in the league and also is, in my opinion, the best route runner in the league. Uh, not by far, because again, Devontae Adams is very good at running routes. And um, you have other players that are also route technicians. Amari Cooper comes to mind, even though Amari Cooper might not put up these stats always to back it up, which I don't think is completely his fault. Uh, but I think next year, you know, maybe they'll do better uh, with Deshaun Watson. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, extremely talented route runner. And I, I don't really have to say too much more about him. Uh, he's going to have a very long career, very successful career. So, uh, I am going to mention some players that I left off. Uh, if you guys might be wondering, uh, so Jamar Chase, I, I won't read off their stats, but Jamar Chase, uh, obviously very good receiver, just missed out Garrett Wilson, Offensive Rookie of the Year. He just missed out Chris Olave. Uh, of course, I'm a Saints fan, gotta gotta put him in the conversation, but he was very good. Um, I was a little surprised that Wilson won um, just a tad bit. Uh, I'm not going to get into the stat comparisons, but I mean, both did not have great quarterbacks. Uh, but I think Olave played less games and had more receiving yards. Uh, no, he didn't the same amount of touchdowns. I said I wasn't going to get into the stats, but here we are. He had the same amount of touchdowns, 11 less receptions, uh, and like 80 less yards, but Garrett Wilson played in all 17 games. Olave only played, or played two less games, which I definitely think he could have made up 11 receptions in 80 yards, and also scored another touchdown in two games, but, uh, you know, that's no fault of Garrett Wilson that Olave didn't play two games. Anyway, so those are just some honorable mentions. Um, I'm sure there's other people I'm forgetting, like Keenan Allen, uh, who I think had no no drops this year, which is very impressive, even though I think he's washed because um, he's just not explosive at all. He's just kind of a he'll run he'll run the route, but he's not going anywhere else after that. But uh, yeah, the next video of the or the next ranking video will be tight ends. think will be in that list or who you guys have for that list also let me know what you guys thought about my rankings and let me know maybe what you would change or yeah what you would change uh, and as always if you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe